Thank you, Ralph. Good morning, friends. Good morning, Ralph. Um, even now, during this very strong lesson, there are strong impressions of, of broken heart and the despair connected to it. But these are fleeing states. It, it emerges like a, like a little prayer and it flees. How, how can we connect this in, uh, as, a, as a clea? How can we come to a common prayer? How can we synchronize all these fleeing states into one that we don't that we don't forget why didn't you ask because there's there's a sensation that this is really important towards the congress this is probably something we are revealing now to to equip ourselves with please raf can you say something about it I'm very happy to hear your words. You're right. How to do it? Only through a common effort. It's not that each and every one of us is making an effort, but we first want to be connected, and out of that connection we activate our effort to be in a broken yet and whole Kli. And truly, this is what's happening in the spiritual Paltsuf. The Masach that, that separates it. The whole Paltsuf has Rosh Toch Sof. And below the Sof, there's also desires you can't do anything about. Only restriction. The part of the desires that you can, you can do more with, only hold them in bestowal, so they are seemingly in bestowal, but in a passive way, that's the sof of the patsuf. Then there's a part of the desire with desires with which you can actively bestow, to receive the lights into the desire, that's called the toch of the patsuf. And the rosh is the part that plans all these actions. And so we have to see how we express in our Paltsuf, we express the broken heart and the whole heart. And it's always there, and we have Reshimot from the shattering that we don't even feel right now, that we don't even learn from the wisdom of Kabbalah, because what we learn about, what we study about, is only the part that rises to corrections. This is the world and the Paltsufim, but there's much more that doesn't go into all of those Reshimot, and that exists as the, the world of the Klipot, as states that are opposite to the states of spirituality. So always try to, to portray oneself as a spiritual Paltsuf that has both these parts and those parts. And we want some parts to completely restrict, not to use them at all, not even touch them, because if we awaken them, it will be a klipa that will rule over us. And so we have to be afraid of some parts and move away from them. And there are other parts we can work with by bestowing in order to bestow, and other parts we can even receive in order to bestow. So whatever we can possibly do, and it's all in a single desire to receive that we call the heart. But your questions are good. I appreciate them. 